goal here is for me to get through this whole thing without getting smacked in the back of the head with one of these. Uh, they are ready to squash their competition, headed to Philadelphia. You're going to Philadelphia? It's tomorrow. It's the National Urban Squash Championship. We have my man Raheem with Access Youth Academy. Raheem, good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me, Roland. I love your story so much. We've been talking the whole time because you're from New York, yes, from sir. Harlem. Yes, sir. And you said you got into squash. Mm -hmm. at what? How did that happen to a young kid in Harlem, you get into squash? So there's a network of programs just like Access Youth Academy yeah. all across the country. And my mom had me try something new, told me <laughs> to try it for a month. And if I didn't like it, I would do something yeah. else. That one decision ended up changing my life, and two decades later, we're here. Here, that's unbelievable, right? Mm -hmm. Like, did you and did you, were you like that kid that looked, Mom? I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this other stuff all my mm -hmm. friends are doing, right? Yes, but you know, my mom just kept an open mind. She told me to try it and give it my best effort. Wow. If I truly did not like it after yeah. that time, we would move on cool. to something else. Yeah. Boy, your mom's awesome. She should write a book or a pamphlet or something. <laughs> uh, listen, tell me about the team, how you put them together, how you pick the kids, mm -hmm. and how does this work? So, this amazing team that we have yeah. here, uh, six of our hardest working students in our 100 student program. Oh, wow. We have six players here. We got Mary, we got Viv, <laughs> we got Aiden, we got Jasmine, we got Jaime, and we got number one player, Hermela. Yeah. And these players have been working tireless, tirelessly for the last few months, last few years, to work towards this goal of competing at Team Nationals. I'm noticing they're really good, because not one time I, have, I haven't got hit, I haven't seen a ball like flowing. Oh, oh, I'm gonna say, oh, I went out see it. Jinx. Oh, I jinxed. Okay. Oh, okay. no, Hermela, get over here. <laughs> get over here. I jinxed, I jinxed it. <laughs> oh, my God, it's embarrassing. How, how old are you uh, when you decided? to get into this, because like, do you even know what squash was? I actually didn't, but what? I got into it at 12 years old in the seventh grade. That's like, you was 11 when you started. Yeah. And, and then how old are you now? I'm 16. So you've been playing now for about four years. Yes. You got really good at it. What was it that said, oh my goodness, this is what I want to do. I'm really good at it. Um, just the fact that I had a big support system and access provided me with yeah. that. And then also just the sport being a combination of a mental sport and also a very like physical sport. That's and I amazing. really enjoyed that. Uh, Hermela, explain aspect. to me, because you know, I, I need to have things explained to me. What's the difference when you tell people mm -hmm. between squash and let's say tennis or like racquetball, I notice the racket itself is a little different. It is very different. So what's the difference in the actual sport? Um, I would say um, squash is an indoor sport, so it's not played outdoors like okay. pickleball and um, tennis. Yeah. And then it's also um, it's very like physical. We have to do a, yeah. like, is, more, is this where like there's like the glass point. wall and the enclosure? Yes. And do you like slam in the walls and stuff? Um, I don't. You gotta, you gotta like, go. You run into the thing, right? If, you're, if your coach will, the idea <laughs> to not run into these walls. And this little black ball, because you asked about the yeah. difference between the sports. This little black ball travels on average between 100 and 130 oh my God. miles per hour. Now show the people the ball. I, I used to see, but Ooh. weren't they like blue before and they're different size? I mean, how does that work? They're different colors because there's a blue ball. But that's the same kind of ball. Yes. The little rubber bouncy type of. This ball don't bounce too much. So. Interesting. We okay. inject life into it yeah. by continuing to hit it. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, you won't brag about it, but I'll brag for you. Uh, <laughs> these are great, great squash players, but also great students. And that's kind of the point, right? You guys take a lot of pride in that. Access Youth Academy is a program based in Southeast San Diego that helps empower low-income students from all over San Diego County to unlock their personal. Yep academic and athletic potential, and we use this vessel of squash to continue to just propel them forward. What's your favorite subject? Um, <laughs> math. Probably math? Math? Oh yeah, I do God. it in uh, <laughs> There was a point in math where it turned into all letters. It's I'm difficult. Like, what but... happened to math? It used to be numbers, now why do I have so many letters? Anyway, uh, good for you guys. Are you guys excited for the championships, and, and, and can you bring home like a title? You get a trophy or something? We're very excited, actually. Yeah. This year we get to participate in the 2024 Team Nationals, oh, nice. where over 400 other students are competing against us, and we played teams of five, and, and wow. last year we got third place, and this year we've worked hard to eventually like strive to get good first coach, place this, this guy, year. Though, right? Yes, he's You know what he's coach. doing? Yes. Do you ever play sure. against you guys? He does, yes. You know, he works. <laughs> He makes us work like crazy. <laughs> uh, listen, so squash is going to be played in the 2028 Olympics. Yes. I'm doing the math here, Mella. <laughs> is that kind of like a goal? 
Um, you think? I'm trying to take it step by step right now. My goal is to play college squash, nice. and then from they have there college on. College squash? Yes, they do actually. Listen, I'm learning a lot. Yeah, Olympics, yeah. you know, uh -huh. that's a thing. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, we want to wish you guys good luck Thank in you. Philadelphia. You're heading out tomorrow. Yes. yes. And the tournament is this weekend, or how, how does that work? Just yes. a one weekend thing? It's going to be uh, Friday through Sunday. Outstanding. Let us know. Yes. Now we need to know. What's that for? Go get them. Yes. Thank you guys. Keep it here. Thank we'll be you. right back.